say that you design a title and that's something you want to keep on accessing for your other projects as well. So in that case, what you can do is you can make your own custom titles as well. So in order to do that, first of all, I'm going to bring the basic title right here. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to click on advance. And then I'm going to go to preset right here and I'm just going to select this out right here, type in tube just like this. And then I'm going to go around and then apply, let's say this one, this textile right here. And I'm going to add another text right here, just like this. And I'm going to say, keep on learning right here. So I'm just going to say, keep on learning, select it out all. And then I'm going to click on this one right here. So tube keep on learning is here. So I'm just going to go around just like that. I'm going to go around, add in some animations right here. So I'm just going to go around, add in cinema style on that one, change around uh, the space right here, just like this. So just going to go around and change that around. And then I'm going to go around and then let's say keep this one right here so that I have two animations. So now I want to save this out as a custom uh, preset. So in order to do that, I'm simply going to click on save as custom and it asks me right here to give the name to the custom. So I'm just going to say tutu tube right here, tutu tube, and I'm going to press OK and OK again. So once I do that, even if I were to delete this, what happens is that under uh, the title right here, under the included, you can see custom is a menu. And here you can see that I have one custom of uh, object right here. So there's tutu tube. I can click and drag this out right here. And if I were to play it out, you can see that the custom is there. I can go around and make changes to this one. Let's say, for example, I add in this one. You can see that the animation changes out as well. I can click and drag this out again. And you can see that the old text is preserved just like that. And that is how you can save custom presets for titles inside of Filmora. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.